and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm participating in the Team Tiny TLC Designs Shop Hop, where members of the Team Tiny Facebook group will be sharing projects using the amazing products from TLC Designs. The owner, Tammy, is sponsoring this hop and is offering a $10 gift certificate to use in her online shop to one lucky winner, so make sure you stay tuned and hear what you'll need to do to enter. For my project, I decided to create a bridge fun fold card using the Seahorse Sam Colored Digital Images here and the Sea Scene Digital Papers. What's great about these digital images is that everything is already colored, so all I have to do is put this together. This is a quick and easy card to make and it will fit into an A2 size envelope. First, I'm taking a sheet of light blue heavyweight cardstock and I'm trimming it down to eight by four and a quarter inches using my paper trimmer. And this is gonna be the card base. Next, I'll be taking my scoreboard and I'm scoring this at one and a quarter inches, two and a half inches, five and a half inches, and then six and three quarter inches. Now my scoreboard wasn't quite long enough for that last score line, so I did flip it over and scored it at one and a quarter inches. Then next it will be time to cut the bridge piece, and this should measure five and a half inches by one and a half inches. And now we have all of our pieces for the card base. Now that I have all my card base pieces cut from the heavyweight cardstock, it's time to cut the digital papers. Now these I printed out myself on just regular printer paper, but first I'm gonna cut out the bridge panel piece, which should measure five and three eighths of an inch by one and three eighths of an inch. So basically you're just making all of the pieces be one eighth of an inch smaller than the sections on your card base. Now you can always cut these pieces out of any type of pattern paper at a fourth of an inch smaller and then of course add different color frames to go behind each piece but i decided not to do that for this card i just wanted to keep it simple for the background part of the card i'm cutting that center panel down to measure four and an eighth of an inch by two and seven eighths of an inch so i'm just carefully kind of going around the different objects that i want to make sure that i leave on the background and then next you'll want to cut four side panel strips and these should each measure four and one eighth of an inch by one and an eighth of an inch. I'm using my Tombow tape runner to glue down the bridge panel. And before I glue the other pieces down, I've taken my bone folder and I'm using that to burnish along all of the edges of the base of the card and then I'll be gluing down all of the other pieces. Excuse my head getting in the way here. I wanted to make sure that I lined it up exact. I used my brother Scan and Cut to cut out all of the pre-colored C images. Now these were printed on 80 pound Nina solar white cardstock using my color laser printer. I'm using some Gina K Connect liquid glue to adhere the bridge piece down to the card, making sure that I line up the edges of the bridge piece to the edges of the base piece. And then next I'm gluing down the seagrass and coral and just building up the underwater scene. Now while I'm doing this, I'll tell you a little bit more about Team Tiny. We are a group of crafters who all have YouTube channels with less than a thousand subscribers and we provide monthly video hops to give ad free video tutorials to our viewers and help each other grow our channels. This hop is sponsored by Tammy with TLC Designs and you can win a $10 gift certificate to her online store simply by commenting on each of the videos in the hop. We'd also love it if you'd consider subscribing to each of the creators channels if you like what you see. Now this is a hashtag driven hop, so what you'll want to do is click on the hashtag in the description box, Team Tiny TLC Designs Shop Hop, or you can tap it in the YouTube search bar. This will pull up all the videos in the hop. 
I decided to pop the seashell up using a foam square to give it some dimension. Now for the seahorse, I wanted him floating in front of the background, but I didn't want to cover up the background. So I'm taking a piece of acetate that I've cut to one quarter inches wide, and I'm gluing this to the back side of the seahorse. And I'm just kind of eyeballing where it should go and then adding glue to that bottom part of the acetate and attaching it to the back side of the bridge piece. And I wanna make sure that it's not taller than the card so it'll still fit in my envelope. And then after putting this on here, I thought that it needed one more element. So I decided to cut out the puffer, puffer fish. This is another one of the digital images in this set. And then I did the same thing with the puffer fish that I did with the seahorse. I needed a really small sentiment that would fit on one of the side panels. So I decided to go with the I Miss You stamp from the Itty Bitty Greetings stamp set that I had in my stash. And I stamped this using an acrylic block in some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm stamping this on a mouse pad so that I get a good even impression. I find that that typically works best for me. Now to finish off the card, I'm adding some clear gems by Studio Katia. And these look like bubbles. And I'm just kind of placing a few all over and gluing these down with my fine tip art glitter glue. And finally, I'm gluing a piece of white cardstock that I've cut down to two and three quarter inches by four inches to the back panel so that I'll have a place to write my message. And this finishes off my card. I really hope you like it. If so, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment so you can be entered to win the store credit to TLC Designs. Also, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. Now to find the next video on the hop, click on the hashtag in the description box. And don't forget, you can also find additional card making inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages, as well as TikTok now at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.